everybody, so this video is going to be a shortened down version of a video that I made a few weeks ago about the Mach 1. That video just turned out really, really long. But if you want to have more detailed explanations and actual examples from the Mach 1, go ahead and check that out. I will link it up here. But if you don't, you ain't got time for that, here is a short video starting now. So here are five tips for your VIP Kid Mach 1 demo lesson. Tip number one. On every single slide at the bottom, it says TD, which are teacher directions. They kind of tell you what to do on each slide and they add some extra information. Some of the information seems totally off the wall and doesn't have it to do with anything. You don't actually have to do the teacher directions. You can if you want, but if it does not fit into what you have planned for that slide, you can forego it. Tip number two, along those same lines, you also don't have to do every single thing on every single slide. Especially when it comes to review slides, pick and choose a couple things and get through those. If it's new material, do as much as you can, but try and keep each slide to one minute. Tip number three, when you are teaching the new material for the beginner class, make sure the child repeats three times the new word. So if you are teaching the word not, make sure they say not three times. If you are doing the intermediate lesson, they only have to say it one time, unless of course they're having trouble, then they can repeat it a couple more times. Tip number four, have your class as close to the 15 and 10 minute mark as possible. Some mentors are just going to cut you off at 15 minutes that's what mine did but other mentors do this weird thing with like adding and subtracting times to each one and it's just complicated and i think it's dumb but it might happen so just practice it and try to have it down to 15 minutes for the first one and 10 minutes for the second one speed up if you need to and slow down if you need to but try and have it as close to those times as possible and finally tip number five don't freak out about your background. Okay, if you happen to have stuff lying around your house that you can throw up, that's fine. But I've seen a lot of YouTube videos where reading between the lines, the people are basically saying like, if you don't have a good background, you might not get hired. Like, no, don't freak out. It's all about the teaching, okay? If you can throw some stuff up, that's fine. But if you don't have it and you have to go spend money, you don't have this job yet. Don't freak out about it. Same with wearing an orange shirt. If you have one, that's fine, but don't feel like you have to go out and buy one. Wait until you at least have the job and you're guaranteed that you're gonna get a paycheck to pay back all this stuff. So if you can throw stuff up, that's fine. The only thing to really worry about is have good lighting. If you don't have good lighting, that actually might might cause problems with you getting the job. So have good lighting. There you go, I hope that this was helpful for you. Again, if you want more detailed explanation and examples, watch that video that's very long, but I think is very helpful. Also, if you need a referring teacher, I am currently creating a referral package that will really, really help you guys out, I think. So I will link my referral code and my referral link in the description bar below, and I would love to help you guys out. And I will see you next time. Thank you.